Hey guys, my name's Alex. I'm a student at Tulane University. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll soon realize that I love the Riley Recreation Center. So without further ado, let's get on with the tour. As soon as you walk into the building, you swipe your splash card with the people at the front desk. You're then welcomed with an enormous lobby with ping pong tables, racquetball courts, and some ellipticals. To the left is an Olympic sized saltwater pool where you can sometimes see the swim team practicing there every morning. And if you walk right from the lobby, you'll see three basketball courts. If you walk further down the hallway, you'll see some more treadmills and ellipticals, as well as my favorite room, the functional gym, which is basically a CrossFit gym. So as soon as you walk into the functional gym, you'll see a turf patch where I sometimes practice back loops. There are also monkey bars, free weights, rope climbing, and ladders. At the far back of the gym, there are three squat racks as well as some extra areas for deadlifting. Unfortunately, these are the only three squat racks available in the entire gym. So expect to wait a little bit on leg days. So if Riley Recreation Center is seeing this video, I really hope you get some more squat racks. If you walk up to the second floor, you'll meet the weight room. The weight room has four bench presses, a wide variety of machines, and a lot of free weights. There's also a little bit open space for calisthenics and stretching. This area is pretty packed around 5 p.m., so I usually come here around 7 a.m. or 9 p.m. to avoid waiting. To be honest, it's not the largest weight room, but I think it's just enough for a good workout. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I've learned to love the space. So if you walk out of the weight room, you'll see a lot of treadmills and ellipticals. And down the hall are some rowing machines and even more ellipticals. There's nothing really particularly special about the rest of the floor. And if you walk up to the third floor, you can find the track. I think it's about 8 to 10 laps equates to a mile. I'm not entirely sure because I usually use soccer as my cardio. So if you walk around the track, you can observe the three basketball courts. And right next to the track is a cycling studio as well as a racquetball court and squash court. Also on the third floor, there are two studios. One studio has boxing bags, and the other studio has an open space with a lot of mirrors. This is where I practice uh, fan dance as well as date auction. Good times, good times. So right behind the Riley Recreation Center is Yeoman Stadium. Fun fact, the games actually used to be played at the Superdome before Tulane spent millions on the new stadium. So Tulane has Division I athletics, including football, and the team has only gone better and better over the last two years. I personally have only gone to a few of the games, but I'd much rather go to the tailgates. So that pretty much concludes the Riley Recreation Center tour. There are definitely a lot of things that I missed, but I mainly just talked about the things that were applicable to my experience. There are a lot more activities to do, such as outdoor adventures, where you can pay a small fee to explore state and national parks, also going on canoeing trips, rock climbing, or even camping on the beach. I have spent countless hours, mornings, nights at the Riley Recreation Center. There's definitely room for improvement, but I hope that you learned to love the place as much as I do. So if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.